Hi, I'm back with another tips and tricks video. This one is volume two. If you missed the first one, I'll link it above. Again, a lot of these will be common sense, but there are still lots of newbies out there that haven't discovered these yet. Let's dive straight in with number one, sticky dots. I bought a few sheets of these sticky dots and I use them for marking the front of a cake. Not all cakes are going to be perfect all the way around. And sometimes we have a preferred side to use as the front. Keep tabs on the front with a sticky dot no matter how many times it spins on that turntable. You can buy them from more stationery shops. Tip 2. Tylo powder. I had no idea this stuff existed when I made my first few cakes. I looked on in awe at how many people made models with arms in the air and thin strands of hair stood on end. I couldn't get my paste to do that, it just flopped no matter how many sponges I piled underneath it. The secret was Tylo powder. CMC or gum trag. They're all powders that pretty much do the same thing. It makes the paste firmer and dry quicker. This was a game changer and now I keep several tubs in my cupboard. All you need to do is knead it into the paste and let it rest in a bag. You'll feel how much firmer it is to your regular paste. Number three, homemade smoothers. Yep, that's right, a free homemade smoother using sugar paste. Just take a lump of paste and push three fingers down into it slightly apart and it's easily held and controlled. The paste moulds to your hand and also to the shape you're smoothing. Whether that's a concave or convex shape, it doesn't stick, it just smooths out the lumps and bumps and gives a sheen and works like a dream. The cheapest and best smoother you'll have for shaped cakes and spheres. Number four, royal icing sugar. Search your supermarket for this stuff. This is royal icing sugar. You add water to this to create pipeable royal icing. Regular icing sugar just creates that runny drip icing like lemon drizzle when water is added. If you have a hot, humid day, you can substitute some of your regular icing sugar for some of the royal icing sugar to help stiffen up buttercream. It creates a bit more of a robust buttercream to give you a bit more security during the UK's random hot days. Five, nail varnish remover. I know, we can't wear nail varnish in this industry, but it always pays to have some nail varnish remover on hand. Glaze sprays are awesome for adding sheens and shines to certain designs, but it's no secret that the nozzles can get blocked and it fires out either a jet spray or huge mists. It often covers worktops and worse, your touchscreen phones and iPads. It's a nightmare to remove, so grab yourself some nail varnish remover and kitchen towel to fix your phones in a snap. The spray is a type of edible varnish, so it makes sense to use a varnish remover to remove it easily. Number six, coloured paste. I know cake decorating is not a cheap hobby or job. It can be tempting to colour white paste with gel colours to keep the cost down. And this does work well for some colours and pastes, but getting a deep, rich colour can be a long, arm tiring and sticky process. The more gel you add, the stickier your paste gets, and it also gets stickier with all the extra kneading involved. Where possible, I always encourage people to buy the coloured paste or airbrush it. It's much quicker and less painful, especially if it's black, navy or red. Lastly, number seven, sausages. No, not pork sausages, sugar paste sausages. They can be a little hard to roll consistently if the paste is soft, with some areas being thinner than others. To keep the pressure even across the paste, use a smoother. And if you need a larger or longer sausage, you can use a chopping board or a cake board. Well, that's it for volume two. Hope you found some of these helpful and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.